You and I talked about this a little bit when we were in Ukraine, but I, I wanted to, to call because it's the first time I've had kids and traveled with that amount of time. And, and you, obviously, you have two kids as well. How, how old are your kids? Four and one and a half. A lot of parents deal with traveling. Obviously, you're traveling to war zones in very complex places. But how do you deal with that as, as a parent? Honestly, I think I'm still working it out. I, it's really hard. It's really hard. And anyone who says it's not is, you know, either worked something out that I have yet to work out um, or they're lying because um, I feel like there is guilt as a parent with like being away from your kids, even if you know it's for good reasons. And even if you know, feel pretty confident that in the long run, they're going to be glad that you did the work that you did, et cetera. What for me has helped is like building this life for my children that exists without me in it as well. So I have a very present, wonderful husband. My sons have two incredibly beautiful, strong nannies who they love, you know, possibly even more than me, which is a little bit of a knife in my heart sometimes, but mostly I'm like, you know what, this is the best gift I could ever ask for. My parents are really present as well. And, and that's, I think the only way that you can do it is you come together, you build your army and you make sure that your children have a beautiful, happy, stable, secure life. And that they just sort of get used to the idea that, you know, mommy or daddy travel sometimes and it doesn't mean that anything's wrong or anything's bad. And we talk on FaceTime every day, although I don't know how you found the FaceTime thing. It's, it's very hard when they're really young. It's really, I, I found it kind of very difficult because uh, my older son is almost two, two uh, you know, d he was more interested in like the vacuum cleaner that he thought I had in my room, which was actually a light that, <laughs> and so he would, when I would, when he would see me, the first thing he would say is his word for vacuum cleaner, which is cockalo, which I don't know why that's his word for vacuum cleaner, but it wasn't like daddy, it was vacuum cleaner, and I would have to show him the light that he was really interested in as opposed to me, yeah. which I gotta say made me feel, yeah. I just felt kind of horrible. I mean, I loved yeah. seeing him, but it made it harder almost. And it's funny you should say that because we were doing like like FaceTime during bath time and stuff. And, and sometimes I, I wanted the call to end, not because I don't wanna look at my beautiful children, which, but because it does become so painful at a certain point, and when you're working, especially in a conflict zone, you're really trying to compartmentalize to the best of your ability and to like keep your energy and your mood sort of harnessed in a certain direction. And if you let yourself go too far into a different space, a much more vulnerable, open, loving space, um, you suddenly feel all the feelings and it's like a little overwhelming almost.